You're watching NickBox.com. My name is Nick. And this is my box. It is finally after Thanksgiving, which means it is now time for Christmas. I love the holidays. I love Christmas. It is my second favorite holiday right after Halloween. So I am not a fan of putting up decorations before Thanksgiving. I'm not a fan of going shopping for decorations before Thanksgiving. But it doesn't really bother me that the stores have been putting up so much stuff. The thing that does bother me, though, is the fact that they're putting the stuff up before Halloween! I'm not gonna let it get to me though, because I love Christmas. I love the holidays, and I've got some concerts coming up, so I'm gonna enjoy singing for those. Make sure you guys come check out the concerts. I posted them before. There will be more information down in the video pants. One of the things I talked about in a recent video was kind of reprogramming my brain to focus on all the positive things, and I said I was gonna write down all the stuff uh, for the last week that was negative. I didn't do that, uh, but I did notice a tremendous amount of negativity in my brain. And it was more than just the day-to-day -day stuff. It was little tiny things that bothered me, like when someone would cut me off, or when someone would park in the spot that I was going for. When I sat in line too long at the drive-thru. Even on Thanksgiving, I had a difficult time coming up with all the things that I was thankful for. I wanted to do a video about that, but I just couldn't muster the energy to do it. My mind is just so consumed with all the negativity. Well, yesterday that changed. So the plan is to do these five things. Write down three things every day that I'm grateful for. Journal every day about a positive experience in the last 24 hours exercise, meditate, and send a communication to somebody that I'm grateful for. Now, I know this isn't going to be a very easy thing to do because sometimes it's hard to find those things that you're grateful for, but I have a lot to be grateful for, a lot to be thankful for. I was able to go out to the store and buy a turkey and buy all the fixings that I wanted to do for Thanksgiving. I had myself quite the feast. It was a fantastic meal and there's a lot of people that don't have the luxury of being able to just drive out to the corner store and pick up a gallon of milk. So I really do have to be thankful for the fact that I can go out and get pretty much anything that I really need. Even in the middle of the night, I can go out to the store and pick up a head of lettuce. Sometimes we just take everyday life for granted and, and forget that there are a lot of people out there that are struggling just to get by day to day. There's a lot of people out there that don't have a car, that can't just go drive somewhere when they need to. I may get upset that someone cut me off on my way to work, but I also have to remember, maybe that person is less fortunate than I am, and maybe they're gonna get fired if they don't get to work on time that day. It's really easy to dehumanize people, especially when they're in a big vehicle and you can't see that person, but they're people too. And yeah, some of them may be a total tool and may be just a jackass, but then again, you know, they may be going through something that you don't know about. So sometimes you might just have to give those people the benefit of the doubt and save yourself some sanity. Let me tell you, I've been paying attention to the negative thoughts that I've had and there's a lot of them. I may not have been able to write them all down because I've just spent the entire time writing. That's not to say that there weren't positive things in the last week. I have a lot of things that are going well for me. But the experiment was to take a look and see how many times my brain went into a negative space and just being conscious of that I tell you, it went there a lot. And when your mind goes into a negative space, it is really hard to get your brain out of there. But now it's time to focus on the positive, so that's what I'm gonna do for the next 21 days. And we'll see how I feel after those 21 days. As always, thanks for being awesome.